Welcome. I am Pavel Bauer, professor at the Faculty of Electrical Engineering, Mathematics and Computer Science at Delphi University of Technology. This lecture takes a close look at the battery management system and the role they play in the powertrain of electric vehicle. The learning objective of this lecture uh, is the following. Firstly, we will explain what a BMS is before moving into the why is it required. Finally, we will have a look at the key features of a BMS. The first question that needs to be answered or addressed, what is a battery management system or a BMS in short? A BMS is a system whose role is to monitor and manage the battery pack used in electric vehicle or any other energy storage application. It can be considered the brains of the battery. It monitors temperatures, voltages and currents of every cell while also estimating state of charge and state of health of the battery protection, optimization and safety. The next natural question that arises is why is a BMS required? All lithium-ion batteries have a window of operation outside which they will fail. They cannot be overcharged, completely discharged or operated at the temperatures outside this range. Any of these cases could lead to irreversible damage to the battery. The operating region of a battery is determined by the battery chemistry and it's therefore important to program the BMS based on this. Battery technology has been improving rapidly, leading to batteries with ever growth greater power and energy densities. This has necessitated the advancement of BMS system to ensure the safety, reliability and the usability of such a batteries. The specific use cars of the electric vehicles with respect to the fast and deep charge and discharge cycles, as well as the accurate state of charge and set value estimation, calls for the highly efficient BMS systems. The battery manager system must be able to monitor key parameters of the battery, as well as the safeguard it in a potentially hazardous or inefficient operating regions. Given its importance in electric vehicle per power train, the key features of the BMS are now discussed in detail. The key features of a BMS are as follows. Cell monitoring, battery safety and protection, charge control, thermal management, state of charge and state of health estimation, and cell voltage balancing. The first feature is a cell monitoring. For the BMS to be able to perform all its tasks, it first needs to acquire voltage, current and temperature data for each cell. The voltage and current measurement requirements vary based on the chemistry of the battery in question. The figure shows the open circuit voltage of two different chemistries. The upper graph refers to a lithium nickel manganese cobalt chemistry, while the lower graph depicts the lithium iron phosphate chemistry. As clearly be seen by the open circuit voltage graph for the lithium iron phosphate is very flat between 20 and 80% state of charge which is in general the operating range of a battery. This makes voltage measurement accuracy for these cells much more challenging when compared to the other battery chemistry. The accuracy generally required for cell voltage measurements is around 1 to 2 millivolt. Other lithium-ion battery chemistries are less challenging to measure when compared to the lithium-ion phosphate battery. The other important parameter essential for the stage of charge estimation is battery current. Battery capacity estimations are made by integrating this current measurement over time to obtain charge stored in a method called Coulomb counting. For current measurement, the typical accuracy demand is around 0.5 to 1%. The next feature to address is battery safety and protection. Battery safety is one of the primary functions of the BMS. Every battery has an operating window dictated by its chemistry and using the battery outside of these conditions is a potentially hazard. The operating conditions relate to cutoff voltages while charging and discharging, C rate limits under the charging and discharging conditions, and well as the temperature window for battery operation. Deep discharge or over discharge of a battery could lead to internal short circuit as well as battery degradation, which has a negative impact on both safety and useful life of the battery. Overcharging of lithium-ion batteries can lead to internal temperature increase, internal resistance increase, and eventually failure of the battery. 
C rate is defined as a measurement of the current at which the battery is being either charged or discharged. Uh, for example, C rate of one ampere hour battery is one when battery is charged by one hour uh, by one ampere current. A higher C rate refers to a larger current being passed through the battery and vice versa. C rate and temperatures are interlinked factors because of the, an increased C rate generally leads to an increase in the temperature of the battery. C rates have a major impact on the degradation of the battery, while higher C rates causes accelerated battery wear and aging. Temperature is a crucial factor when it comes to the safety of lithium-ion batteries. The safe operating range of any lithium-ion battery is a function of its chemistry. Internal resistance of a battery is temperature dependent, for example with low temperatures leading to an increase in internal resistance and therefore a loss of battery capacity. Increasing temperature therefore increases the capacity of the battery up to a certain point with very high temperatures also negatively impacting battery functionality, safety and longevity. Charge control is an essential feature of the BMS. As discussed in the previous section, the charging rate is an important factor taking into consideration the battery safety, battery charging must take place within its limits of the battery in terms of cutoff voltage, charging rate, as well as temperature. While discharge rate of the battery is normally determined by the application in which the battery is uh, being used, charging rate is a function of user preference and users normally demand fast charging. While fast charging is possible, it must occur within the limitation imposed by the battery chemistry and structure. Due consideration must also be given to battery longevity as high C rates have a negative impact on the battery health. While companies like Tesla have their own charging stations that uh, adhere to the limitations of their batteries, it is possible that general in purpose public EV chargers will not therefore requiring the battery management system to monitor and optimize the charging process in these situations. Most EVs have the charging process uh, taking place in two stages as shown in the diagram. These regions are the constant current and constant voltage regions. The constant current region is at the first stage where the battery is fed a constant current until the maximum safe voltage value is reached after which a switch to constant voltage charging takes place until full battery capacity is reached. The charging time is determined by the length of the constant current region and it's the job of the battery management system to monitor and regulate the two stages of, of charging. The next feature to discuss is thermal management. It has been referred to previously in this lecture that thermal management of the battery is crucial to its safety and reliable functioning. If you take the example shown on the screen of a battery pack not uniformly cold or cooled purely by natural air convection, it is possible to obtain a very skewed battery temperature profile with cells that are very hot while others are within the right temperature range. These hot cells would suffer from the increased internal resistance resulting in ohmic losses that would only further increase temperature. Any continuous use of the battery in this state could have severe safety implications. Temperature conditions play a vital role in the safe and efficient functioning of the battery. Battery temperatures outside the normal range not only have an effect on the safety, they also cause premature degradation of the battery and increase of the internal resistance. The BMS must have the ability to keep the battery temperature within the specified safe limits during operation of the electric vehicle. The state of health of the battery is an important indicator that defines the lifetime of the battery. It informs the user how many charge and discharge cycles the battery can undergo before reaching its end of the life criteria. Although the term state of health does not yet have a fixed definition and therefore are presently efforts being underground to study this parameter, it can be loosely defined as the ratio of the actual capacity of the battery after it has been used and undergone a certain amount of the degradation to the manufacturer rated capacity of the battery. State of health is not only a parameter of, that can be directly measured or read of the battery itself, it must be calculated. 
having the right value of state of health is crucial in deciding how a battery can be used to prolong life and also when the battery must be replaced if needed. The state of health of the battery is highly usage dependent, large current discharge cycles and high C rates have a negative impact on the state of health. If you take the example of a large number of cells connected to form a battery as shown in the figure, it is important to note that the cells may have different state of health values due to the issues during balancing of cells. Therefore, any cell, cell 1 for example, could have a low state of health and a high internal resistance. When this cell is charged at the same current as the other cells in the battery, it could overheat due to the, its larger internal resistance and cause a safety hazard. State of charge is a battery parameter that is defined as the ratio of the available charge in the battery to the full capacity of the battery. State of charge estimation is essential for a few purposes. Firstly, state of charge data is used for a proper optimization of energy in the battery of an electric vehicle, so maximize the range of the vehicle. Secondly, state of charge estimation is crucial to ensure that the battery functions within its voltage cutoff limits, for example, it does not go into the either deep discharge or overcharge. Thirdly, the state of charge is also useful from perspective of the user, allowing the user to plan vehicle usage and charging times, because uh, based on the available charge and the battery, we can predict it. Just like in the case of the state of health, state of charge cannot be directly measured from the battery and algorithms are required to accurately estimate state of charge. The last BMS feature to be discussed is cell balancing. Cell balancing is an important feature in any battery pack consisting of an array of cells connected in series and parallel. It prevents mismatches in the voltage between connected cells in a battery pack, therefore increasing battery efficiency and safety. Cell balancing can be achieved two different ways, passive balancing and active balancing. Passive balancing is the simplest balancing method that can be implemented, requiring only a control switch and a resistor to remove the extra energy present in the certain cells in the form of a heat. Active balancing essentially involving the shifting of energy between the cells to ensure they all have the same energy. Each of these techniques have their own positives and negatives, while passive balancing is a cheaper and a simpler solution to implement than active balancing. It leads to ohmic losses and energy is dissipated in the form of a heat. It also provides a lower degree of protection when compared to the active balancing techniques. In this lecture, we looked at the, what is battery management system, uh, why it is uh, required. We also understood the key features of the BMS in detail. We looked at the role of the BMS in cell monitoring, battery safety, charge control, thermal management, state of charge, and state of health estimation, and finally, cell, uh, cell voltage balancing. I hope that you found this lecture informative. Thank you for watching.